While Roger Federer was out confirming that he is indeed the amazing human being that you imagine him to be, we were compiling the latest and greatest stories from around the tennis world. Hey tennis fans, I'm Blair Henley and welcome to the Tennis Now News Update. As 18-year-old Beatriz Tinoco was recovering from cancer last year, she had one person she wanted to meet, Roger Federer. So the Make-A-Wish Foundation made it happen. Beatriz and her family were flown to London to meet Roger at Wimbledon. And as it turns out, he did much more than just meet the teenager. He hung out with her, played tennis with her, took her on a tour of Wimbledon, and then signed a boatload of items for her. Beatriz shared her experience on Twit Longer, which included decidedly teenagery lines like, OMG, he is perfect. The meeting was filmed by ESPN for a special that will air later on in August. 77-year-old golf legend Gary Player, yes, that Gary Player, thinks top golfer Rory McIlroy's relationship with Caroline Wozniacki could be a factor in his recent struggles. Quote, when you're in love as a young man, naturally golf seems to take second place for a while. That's natural. Love is still the greatest thing that ever happens in our lives. Now the thing is, for a man like Rory, the talent galore, he's got to make sure he has a woman like I've got, who's been married to me for 56 years, that has only encouraged me to do well and made all the sacrifices. The good news here is that Gary Player clearly doesn't think Wozniacki would be a good fit for him. Thank goodness for that. Andy Roddick had something to say regarding Player's remarks, tweeting this when the news broke. I'm so sick of people bagging on McElroy and Caroline. They're both very bright and nice people. Let them live and stop looking for stories. Olga Puzkova pulled an Albandian Thursday, getting defaulted from her second round match in DC after hitting a ball in anger right smack into a line judge's knee. Puzkova was down 4-1 in the third set to Paula Ormachea when the incident occurred. Though the Russian expressed remorse, the WTA supervisor on site ruled that her actions, even if accidental, warranted immediate disqualification. Martina Hingis began her much-anticipated doubles comeback this week with Daniela Hantukova, beating their first-round opponents 1-1 one and one in Carlsbad. It's been six years since we've last seen the Swiss Miss at a professional tennis tournament, but she insists she won't be dipping a toe back into the singles pool. For now, she's just a doubles specialist. Nike has released their new US Open kits, and let's just say Federer's pink shoes at the Australian Open are nothing compared to the eye-popping Zoom Vapor 9 tours he'll be wearing in New York. Check those babies out! Nadal and Del Potro will have similarly bright footwear, so Roger will be in good company. Maria Sharapova and Serena Williams will have feminine flowy looks for their day dresses. And now for your weekly dose of cute. I give you Marcus Baghdadis with his daughter Zahara. Tough to tell who's having more fun in this picture. That's all for today's Tennis Now News Update. On a scale of 1 to 10, just how classy is Roger Federer? What do you think about Wozniacki and McElroy? Let us know in the comment section below and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see when we post new content. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.